Hello everyone, I'm Nathan from Listen Up, and today we have the very special opportunity of interviewing Anders from Hegel Music Systems. And today we're going to focus a little bit less on products specifically, but really take a deep dive into Hegel as a manufacturer of music systems and hi-fi products. Anders, welcome. Thank you. The basic philosophy about Hegel is that it's all about the music, it's all about the sound. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you were to summarize our philosophy on sound in one sentence, I would say it's the sum of everything that isn't there. Mm -hmm. Meaning, uh, a Hegel amplifier adds very little of its own. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are very little noise, but there is also very few distortion elements or extra sounds that changes the shape of the music and, and it changes how you perceive uh, the music you're listening to. So it's very natural, it's very close to the source. We have the H600 here, which is a fantastic integrated amplifier. I was amazed by the sound and, and wow. just, just overall impressed and had the opportunity to review it recently. Um, but, but, you know, on the subject of integrated amplifiers, that's, that's something that I'm curious about. In serious hi-fi, we're often faced with products uh, of separates, a separate preamp, a separate power amplifier, separate inputs, and, and uh, we, we kind of have this understanding of, you know, if you're serious about your audio and, and your hi-fi, then you immediately move to separates. But some of Hegel's most outstanding products are in fact integrated amplifiers. Can you tell me, uh, elaborate a little bit more on that? Well. First of all, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, f to go into a fight saying that separates mm -hmm. are bad or separates are this mm -hmm. and that. There are several reasons why you'd want to make separates. Like we have separates mm -hmm. that uh, are just so large and the amplifier stages are so big that mm -hmm. you need to split it up. But essentially, we think integrated amplifiers is the way to go. We can place a whole lot of features in one box. People think it's convenient. Like, mm -hmm. I would much rather have one box in my living room mm -hmm. that did my streaming, sounded great, powered my loudspeaker, mm -hmm. and gave me a great experience than have a stack uh, of, of boxes all around. Mm -hmm. So we, we work really hard on getting that separate level of performance mm -hmm. into a single box system. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that is absolutely the way to go. Certainly. And I think a lot of people might be under the conception, or, or misconception, rather, that if you have an all-in-one uh, unit that you're making some sort of compromises somewhere in the system, but that might not necessarily be true all the time. Not necessarily. I mean, you could argue that in, in, a, in a system of separates, mm -hmm. you have better shielding, like where the different the, the, the more sensitive units, like the mm -hmm. preamplifier, is better shielded from the power amplifier. That's a good, that's a good uh, argument. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, you also add cables, you add mm -hmm. between the units and all kinds of other things that could impact it negatively as well. Certainly. That said, in our largest amplifiers, like the H600 and like the H390, we have done things to, to, to address this. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, they have separate toroidal transformers inside. Mm -hmm. They have very good shielding of the preamplifier and DA converter sections mm -hmm. uh, just to separate them. They work like a separate, but in a single box. Now, one thing that is entirely noticeable anytime that you sit in front of a Hegel amplifier or a Hegel music system is that there's, there is very much a noticeable uh, sound signature to it, mm. a, a different sound. Accurate though it may be, it, it does have a Hegel sound. And as you mentioned before, Hegel started off as a company seeking out solutions for audio technologies. Um, and obviously sound engine is, is a hot word that, that we associate with Hegel uh, quite a bit. Um, what, what are some of these technologies that Hegel has managed to put together and, and how are they separating Hegel from other amplifier designs? Well, first of all, I would say that have you noticed that if you go to a hi-fi show or trade show or something or go outside a room where mm -hmm. someone is playing a live instrument inside, mm -hmm. even if you walk outside the room, you can almost often 
almost always say that, ah, oh, there is live playing in mm -hmm. that room. And you walk in and, well, sure, there is a person playing his, uh, his saxophone or his guitar or something. Um, it's, it's very easy to distinguish that from, from a hi-fi system. Mm -hmm. Hegel has that kind of sound that sits somewhere in between mm -hmm. uh, the typical hi-fi sound and the actual instrument. So I can always hear, even if I don't know the speakers, when I walk outside the room, there's a Hegel. It's very dynamic. It's very natural. It's, it's dance, mm -hmm. It sings to you. It doesn't sit right. back in the sofa, so Ab to speak. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I'd say that's, that's the first thing that I myself and, and many of our clients have noticed is, mm -hmm. wow, the, the sound stage is forward. It is yeah. coming out of the system. Yeah. And, and I, I, I don't hear this system here. I'm, I'm hearing a performance out, out here in the room. Yeah. It sings to you. That's, yeah. that's really, the, there's some energy yes. in the Hegel uh, sound that, that isn't there uh, in, in many other systems. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, is there anything that we can know in regards to Sound Engine and, and now Sound Engine 2, what, mm. what progress is, is Hegel making in, in those regards? Well, uh, the Sound Engine is, is, is perhaps the most important. The Sound Engine works like a noise cancelling headphone. Mm -hmm. uh, a noise cancelling headphone records all the sounds from the outside and plays them back into your ear in reverse phase. Mm -hmm. So it cancels everything out. You don't hear anything even though it's there. Mm -hmm. we, the Sound Engine does the same thing in amplifiers. It takes a sample uh, of the signal that comes into the amp and mm -hmm. it takes a sample of the signals going out of the amp and it compares them. Mm -hmm. And then it distracts what's different. Mm -hmm. So what has changed? What has happened to the music inside the amp? Mm -hmm. And it, play, it plays the change back into the speaker outputs in reverse phase. So you cancel mm -hmm. out whatever has happened inside the amplifier at a very high precision level. Mm -hmm. So the Sound Engine 2, for instance, is just more, mm -hmm. it's more precise and it's faster at doing it compared to the Sound Engine 1. But that's not the only thing. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things going on inside the amplifiers. Our founder and Hegel uh, in nature is very curious. So we quite often try completely new things, mm -hmm. like uh, the volume attenuators in, in all Hegel amps. Yeah. They aren't really volume attenuators. If we had bought the typical hi-fi audio volume attenuators, mm -hmm. then you would be limited at a certain level of performance. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just one example out of many, but our founder, uh, Bent, he used to be a chip designer or integrated circuit designer. Mm -hmm. So he found other ways of using certain circuits that weren't meant for audio at all, uh, the, the, the circuits inside the H600, for instance, mm -hmm. um, it's the same circuits that's also used in, uh, in the large Hadron colliders in, uh, wow. in, um, in, in Switzerland, where they, they uh, crash neutrons together to see what happens and mm -hmm. stuff like that. They're very, very low noise and extremely precise. Mm -hmm. So there are many advantages like that inside a Hegel amplifier that makes it what it is. It's simply a like it's quantifiably a very, very high level of performance, regardless of the cost or, or anything. Absolutely. So, so uh, obviously, uh, all of these components are working in concert together yep. to give you that very lifelike end result to, yep. your, to your music. Yep. Um, very, very impressive. And of course, by removing something like, like a potentiometer mm. in the volume control, which is going to have characteristics of its own, mm. um, you, how, how have you isolated that in the volume attenuation process? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's an analog volume control with an array of resistors. Okay. Uh, but it's digitally controlled with okay. this uh, IC. Okay. Uh, so we're a little bit cagey on exactly how we've done it because we don't want, it, right. want to make it right. too easy <laughs> to copy. Uh, but it's, again, it's just one out of many technologies. We, we use and spend an obscene amount of money every year on, on new measurement equipment to, that mm -hmm. can allow us to, to, uh, to find new problems that we didn't know existed. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm not going to diverge too far, but sometimes people ask, if we're vo voicing our amplifiers and how we voice them, and we don't voice them. We simply use mm -hmm. our ears to try and find errors, things that's wrong, mm -hmm. and we try to, to find those errors again on measurement equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if we find it, we can fix it. But we don't want to make them brighter or darker. That's how you end up with something that loses dynamics, 
because yeah. you want to make it sound warmer, but then it loses the dynamic and the energy you want. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and certainly when, when you do have an amplifier that has voicings, then the question then becomes, okay, well, what speakers can I pair this with? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's not, that's not the idea of making electronics at all. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're making an amplifier, you're just making a tool to get those speakers, which in our mind is the instrument, Mm -hmm. sound as best as they possibly can, you know? Yeah. If, if you want a Sonus Faber speaker, or you want a Kef speaker, or Dyna Audio, or Monitor Audio, or whatever, mm -hmm. they are an instrument that, mm -hmm. are, that are, is designed with great care and a, special, a specific type of voicing and style. Mm -hmm. The Hegel amplifier should just be a tool that's rock solid mm -hmm. and make them sing as best they can. Absolutely. Yeah? And uh, funny enough, when we hear a greater performance from our amplifier, we hear an even better performance from our speakers exactly. in, in, in the long run. So excellent. Bang on. Mm -hmm. um, one, one thing that has been brought up a, a couple of times um, from uh, some of our, our clients as well is the airplay functionality. And I, I understand Hegel has a very interesting approach to airplay streaming. Yeah. It's the first kind of streaming we ever did. Um, and it was back in 2013 mm -hmm. uh, when we, or Apple released an SDK for mm -hmm. AirPlay. AirPlay had been very, very challenging to implement in any product. Mm -hmm. And at that time you saw products that had like an Airport Express mm -hmm. uh, built in, strapped inside the amp to, to make it work with AirPlay. But from 2013, you could, you could do something with it. And AirPlay to many people sounded, yeah. yeah, very, very laid back. Mm -hmm. But at that point, we could apply our own signal treatment instead of using apples. Mm -hmm. So our engineers worked uh, or basically lived in the office for half a year uh, on Coca-Cola and potato chips <laughs> and, uh, and made an AirPlay implementation mm -hmm. that was this close to the performance of uh, playing a CD or high-end streaming. It's just very, very good. Wow. And that is the AirPlay standard is really good. Uh -huh. So it's just the signal treatment and what, what's being done with that signal afterwards uh, that we've done differently and that makes it sound a whole lot better. Wow. And this is something that is implemented in, in a number of Hegel products, is that all correct? All of them. All, all of them. them, yeah. And all of them now got AirPlay 2 as well. Wow. So, so it's, it's all up and running. Bringing it back to the H600, yep. we're, we're, we're using this as an excellent example of, of what Hegel is able to produce. But the, the 600, um, in, in view of the 590, had a lot more improvements to it. We're not just talking about power, we're talking about other functionalities, digital functionalities, mm. processing. Ex explain, what, what is Hegel introducing to the well, world? To be honest, uh, in the beginning, the ID wasn't there to introduce a new amplifier. Hmm. But um, as many know, there was a big chip shortage during COVID because a big factory burned down and mm -hmm. you had to wait two years for a new car and all that. That impacted us greatly as well. Mm -hmm. So we started working with other chip uh, suppliers. Mm -hmm. And we, it started out by we made a new DIA converter implementation that we tried in an H590 using another chipset and mm -hmm. yeah, another topology. And we were, wow, this is really good. Yeah. Could this be a start of something new? Because we don't, we don't launch just for the sake of launching. We launch because we have something that's way better mm -hmm. than what we used to have. Uh, so, so it started just with a new DA converter. Mm -hmm. So the DA converter in the 600 is really good. Mm -hmm. And it's better than the 591. Mm -hmm. Then we thought, well, one of the discussions we're always having at the office nowadays is that some of the guys want they like to play with Tidal, some like to play with Spotify, or actually no one does in the office, but you could <laughs> say that many, maybe somewhere yeah. uh, there is someone who prefers Spotify. Somebody likes Kobu, somebody likes Airplay, somebody likes UPnP, it, M Connect, could be whatever. But we knew that we needed more features because we had topped out in the, in the current line of, of amplifiers. Mm -hmm. So we started developing on a brand new streaming platform as well that in the H600, it's a new generation. Mm -hmm. It's far more capable, there's a lot more feature in it already, and there's a lot more to come. And then, once last year, we, uh, we launched a new pre-amplifier, reference pre-amplifier, P30A, 
best product ever. I love it. Um, the volume attenuator in that was phenomenal. It was the first completely new volume attenuator we've made in years. We put it in just for fun into mm -hmm. the 8600 project and I was like, wow, it's so much better. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it. And then we had a product and it was just about you know, yeah. getting it through. I think compared to almost anything else we have and to a lot of hi-fi here, uh, the 600 has a finesse to it. Mm -hmm. But most of all, it, it, it makes my shoulders relax when I listen to it. I just play yeah. music and enjoy myself more. Yeah. It doesn't mean that the 590 is still isn't a great amplifier because it is, uh -huh. but the 600 just brings some finesse and calmness to yeah. the table. Certainly, and yeah. it, it seems to be employing so many of the groundbreaking or, or the most innovative technologies that Hegel has found, yep. and again, putting them all together in a, in a single unit to get the best performance out of a yep. single product. Everything is there. Everything is there. Yeah. Anders, thank you so much for coming in today. This has been an excellent experience. I, I love picking your brain, and I, I would really like it if you visited more. Absolutely, but, uh, <laughs> I will. I'm, I, I'd love to come to Denver. Absolutely. Well, yeah. well thank you so much. Um, if anyone is interested in Hegel products, please feel free to drop us a line at listenup.com. Feel free to come to any of our showrooms where we have many Hegel products available to listen to, to view. And if you have further questions, please get in touch with the salesman. We'd be happy to answer any further questions you have. Thank you. Thank you.